In ultrafast optics, spectral phase interferometry for direct electric field reconstruction spider is an ultra-short pulse measurement technique originally developed by Chris Eaconis and Ian Wormsley. Topic: The basics. SPIDER is an interferometric ultra-short pulse measurement technique in the frequency domain based on spectral shearing interferometry. Spectral shearing interferometry is similar in concept to lateral shearing interferometry, except the shearing is performed in the frequency domain. The spectral shear is typically generated by some frequency mixing the test pulse with two different quasi-monochromatic frequencies usually derived by chirping a copy of the pulse itself, although it can also be achieved by spectral filtering or even with linear electro-optic modulators for picosecond pulses. The interference between the two upconverted pulses allows the spectral phase at one frequency to be referenced to the spectral phase at a different frequency, separated by the spectral shear, the difference in frequency of the two monochromatic beams. In order to extract the phase information, a carrier fringe pattern is introduced, typically by delaying the two spectrally sheared copies with respect to one another. Topic theory The intensity of the interference pattern from two time delayed spectrally sheared pulses can be written as S omega equals E omega plus E omega minus omega E I omega tau, 2 equals I omega plus I omega minus omega plus 2 I omega I omega minus omega cos phi omega minus phi omega minus omega minus omega tau display style begin aligned S omega and equals E omega plus E omega omega E carrot I omega tau carrot 2 and equals I omega plus plus I omega omega plus two SQRT I omega I omega omega cos phi omega phi omega 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 tau end aligned where E omega display style E omega is the analytic signal representing the unknown upconverted field being measured omega display style omega is the spectral shear tau Display style tau is the time delay. I omega equals e omega two. Display style i omega equals e omega caret two is the spectral intensity and phi omega display style phi omega is the spectral phase. For a sufficiently large delay from 10 to 1000 times the Fourier transform limited FTL pulse duration, the interference of the two time delayed fields results in a cosine modulation with a nominal spacing of delta omega 2 pi tau. Display style delta omega sim 2 pi tau. And any dispersion of the pulse results in minor deviations in the nominal fringe spacing. Effectively it is these deviations in the nominal phase spacing that yield the dispersion of the test pulse. The unknown spectral phase of the pulse can be extracted using a simple, direct algebraic algorithm first described by Takeda. The first step involves Fourier transforming the interferogram into the pseudo-time domain S tilde T tilde equals F S omega equals E tilde D C T tilde plus E tilde A C T tilde minus tau plus E tilde Minus A C T tilde plus tau display style begin aligned Y tilde S Y tilde T and equals Math frac F S omega and equals Y tilde E carrot D C Y tilde T plus Y tilde E carrot A C Y tilde T tau plus Y tilde E carrot A C Y tilde T plus tau end aligned where E tilde D C T tilde equals F I omega plus I omega minus omega display style Y tilde E carrot D C Y tilde T equals Math frac F I omega plus I Omega Omega is a direct current DC term centered at T tilde display style Y tilde T with a width inversely proportional L to the spectral bandwidth and E tilde plus or minus A C T tilde tau equals F I Omega I 
omega minus omega e plus or minus i phi omega minus phi omega minus omega e plus or minus i omega tau Display style y tilde e carrot p m a c y tilde t m p tau equals math frac f s q r t i omega i omega omega e carrot p m i phi omega phi omega omega e carrot p m i omega tau are two alternating current AC sidebands resulting from the interference of the two fields. The DC term contains information about the spectral intensity only, whereas the AC sidebands contain information about the spectral intensity and phase of the pulse since the AC sidebands are Hermitian conjugates of each other, they contain the same information. One of the AC sidebands is filtered out and inverse Fourier transformed back into the frequency domain, where the interferometric spectral phase can be extracted. D omega omega equals f minus one e tilde AC t tilde minus tau equals i omega i omega minus omega e i phi omega minus phi omega minus omega e minus i omega tau display style begin align D omega omega and equals math frac f caret minus one y tilde e caret AC y tilde t tau and equals sqrt I omega I omega omega, omega e carrot I phi omega phi omega omega e carrot I omega tau end aligned. The final exponential term, resulting from the delay between the two interfering fields, can be obtained and removed from a calibration trace, which is achieved by interfering two unsheared pulses with the same time delay. This is typically performed by measuring the interference pattern of the two fundamental pulses which have the same time delay as the upconverted pulses. This enables the spider phase to be extracted simply by taking the argument of the calibrated interferometric term. Theta omega equals decal omega d omega omega equals phi omega minus omega minus phi omega. Display style begin aligned theta omega and equals angle d underscore text cal omega d caret ast omega omega and equals phi omega omega phi omega end aligned. There are several methods to reconstruct the spectral phase from the spider phase. The simplest, most intuitive and commonly used method is to note that the above equation looks similar to a finite difference of the spectral phase for small shears and thus can be integrated using the trapezium rule. phi omega n minus omega 2 minus n equals 0 n Omega N plus one minus Omega N two Omega Theta Omega N plus Theta Omega N plus one Display style phi omega underscore n omega two approximate sum underscore n equals zero carrot n frac omega underscore n plus one omega underscore n two omega theta omega underscore n plus theta omega underscore n plus one. This method is exact for reconstructing group delay dispersion (GDD) and third order dispersion (TOD). The accuracy for higher order dispersion depends on the shear. Smaller shear results in higher accuracy. An alternative method is via concatenation of the spider phase phi omega zero plus n omega equals minus n equals one n theta omega zero plus n omega Omega greater than zero N equals zero N minus one Theta omega zero plus n omega if omega zero display style begin aligned phi omega underscore zero plus n omega and equals begin cases sum underscore n equals one carrot n theta omega underscore zero plus n omega and text if omega greater than zero sum underscore n equals zero carrot n one theta omega underscore zero plus n omega and text if omega for integer n display style n and concatenation grid omega n equals omega zero plus n omega 
Display style Omega underscore N equals Omega underscore zero plus N Omega. Note that in the absence of any noise, this would provide an exact reproduction of the spectral phase at the sampled frequencies. However, if d omega display style d omega falls to a sufficiently low value at some point on the concatenation grid, then the extracted phase difference at that point is undefined and the relative phase between adjacent spectral points is lost. The spectral intensity can be found via a quadratic equation using the intensity of the DC and AC terms filtered independently via a similar method above or more commonly from an independent measurement typically the intensity of the DC term from the calibration trace, since this provides the best signal to noise and no distortion from the upconversion process e.g. spectral filtering from the phase matching function of a thick crystal. Topic. Alternative techniques. Spatially encoded arrangement for spider, C spider is a variant of spider. The spectral phase of an ultra-short laser pulse is encoded into a spatial fringe pattern rather than a spectral fringe pattern. Other techniques are frequency-resolved optical gating, streak camera with picosecond response times, and multiphoton intrapulse interference phase scan MIIPS, a method to characterize and manipulate the ultra-short pulse. Micro spider is an implementation of spider in which the spectral shear required for a spider measurement is generated in a thick nonlinear crystal with a carefully engineered phase matching function. Topic: See also Spectroscopy